Well, we are here to talk about requesting a ballot by mail with the new voter ID law that was passed in November of 2022. The new voter ID law for by mail early voting ballots will be completed at the time of requesting a ballot. We are mailing approximately 160,000 of these early voting by mail request postcards today in Douglas County. These are for voters who prefer to vote early and have asked to be placed on our list. The new law states that the ID must have the name and photo on it, however, it may be expired. The easiest and simplest way is to write your driver's license number or Nebraska State ID on the request. We have added a new field here on our green card program. These are green cards sent to Douglas County voters. Simply write your driver's license or state ID number here in this field and please do so legibly. 97 to 98% of all Nebraskans have a driver's license or state ID. That's the good news. If you do not have a Nebraska driver's license or a Nebraska state ID, you may send a photocopy of one of the other accepted forms of ID. Those include a passport, a military or tribal ID, a political subdivision ID from Nebraska. So state, county, city, uh, public school. So if you work for Douglas County or the city of Omaha, you can use those IDs. A university or college in the state of Nebraska, either public or private, so Creighton, UNO, uh, any, any public or private college or university, and if you reside in an assisted living, a nursing home, a long-term care facility, or a hospital, most of those places have a face sheet or an entry form when you come in that will have your name and photo on it. That's an acceptable form as well for those individuals. Again, if you are using a Nebraska driver's license or state ID, a photocopy is not necessary. You simply write the number here on the form. However, if you're using one of the other forms we just discussed, we will need a photocopy of that with the request when you return it to us. So let's talk just briefly about what forms of IDs are not accepted. Birth certificates, Medicare and Medicaid cards, social security cards, out of state driver's license or state IDs, or private IDs with the name and photo on them. So like membership uh, places like Sam's, Costco, or if you work for a bank or an insurance company and you have an ID with your name and photo on it, those are not accepted forms because they're not issued by a political subdivision in the state of Nebraska. If you do not have any of these acceptable forms of ID that we have mentioned, you still have two other options. The state of Nebraska will issue a free state ID for the purposes of voting. One of the documents that you may need to get a free state ID would be a free a birth certificate. If you were born in the state of Nebraska, you can go to the Department of Health and Human Services or the Bureau of Vital Statistics here in Douglas County at the City County Building, request a free birth certificate for the purposes of obtaining a free state ID for the purposes of voting. There may be other documentation that is required beyond the birth certificate to get the free state ID, so be sure and check on that. Or you may complete a reasonable impediment certification for one of the following three reasons. If you have a disability or illness, that prevents you from obtaining a form of ID that's acceptable, the lack of a birth certificate or other required document to get a Nebraska state ID. So if you were born in another state, Iowa, Alabama, California, you know, you, you can get your birth certificate to help you get a Nebraska state ID, but we cannot require other states to provide those for free or you have a religious objection to being photographed. 
So if you use the reasonable impediment certification, you will need to return that at the time you send in your early voting request for a by mail ballot. So remember, if you request a ballot to vote early by mail, we encourage you to do so sooner rather than later. Voters in Douglas County should start to see these pop up in their mailboxes this weekend, next week for sure. We're expecting about 85,000 of these to be returned for the May election. So get those filled out, send them back to us so we have time to process all of those.